we're back in my voluptuous life with Wawa, and of course, my famous celebrity photographer guest, Mr. Jerron Montilla. Can I post now? Of course. <laughs> you know what? I have this crazy idea that I want to post as a nude model. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can arrange oh, that. We can I wanted to do that. an artistry of my body. <laughs> That's fine. Of course, like something... Oh, no. It's, it's actually a celebration of myself. I thought about... Well, I have a uh -huh. friend. His name is um, one of the also famous artists in Vegas. He's, an, he's not a photographer. He's more of a, a painter, Style, right? Oh, painter. So we had already this. I don't want to say the name because, of course, he's a famous one, right? So I always tell him that, okay, he does actually paintings. Like, you know, those ooh, sexy you, ones. You know, okay. And so what I did was like, okay, let's do it in like last... Two, two months ago but I didn't have I don't know for some reason we never did it yet but I'm still planning to do it Jaron and I, I guess you will be the perfect photographer I can also be well, of course I just anytime to, I don't want to because I want to do it in an artistry that it can celebrate my form you know I've lost 42 pounds and I feel like right. you know so anyway done with myself <laughs> just, I'm just kind of you know, uh, go to filling in everything. Get that like, out of your system. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, take a All deep right, breath. We'll, 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 schedule, we'll <laughs> schedule some time for Okay, that. so Jaron is actually famous uh, nowadays, most especially one of his... his I am uh, famous? Yes, you are. You just don't know that. See, okay. you, you because he said... We you saw each other a couple days ago, and he said... Oh, I watch your show. Really? I'm like, we never thought that we are being watched. But anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about Jaron as an artist, right? You said that it just came out of like taking selfies, photos of your kids, photos of your family, right? And so on and so forth. But each artist should always have like some sort of a, like a subject, favorite mm -hmm. subject. And I see that in your photography, that you're really more of a, more of a self self uh you're more of really a still like a still kind of guy like you wanted to really um look at beauty and i, I look at your models like oh i make it, i wish i can be like them right yeah. so you really celebrate the be beauty in it in, it's in all more really of um you know it's like fashion mm -hmm. glamour like i just love taking photos yeah they, they see you as that you like i feel like you're you're the you're a kind of photographer that brands like brand somebody like okay this is a chef okay i won't say the name because it might be this is a chef this is a, a a mermaid like you know this is this kind of person but have you thought about like having a photography of like stills like you know do you, do you also have sceneries or anything well that's a great question because i just photographed uh, one of my friends here and uh, mm -hmm. i just met her uh, okay last wednesday yeah and she's a professional mermaid yes that's one uh, and, you, and mm -hmm. um you know, we, we, we did a shoot and um, she she likes it. She just she likes the idea, mm -hmm. so she brought in all her uh, costumes, wardrobe. That's so awesome! Yeah, I yeah, actually met this mermaid, like, you know, and uh, she will be revealed in one of our interviews with my friend uh, J T in Fab Live, oh, and cool. I give that to the cool. credit. Okay, so as a photographer, uh, what year was this when you started like kind of owning your first camera, and what was um, the brand? I, I really want to make sure. That I started with. Uh, Nikon. Okay. Is that uh, your then, favorite uh, brand or thing? No, I don't know. Before it was my brand, and then I switched mm -hmm. to Canon. So, you know, now you I'm know why I ask because I have also a photographer friend. He's a one famous photographer also in Vegas, but he does tattoo photography, and he he yeah. and then that's why I always ask him to, oh, what's your favorite brand? So I'm like, you know, some some photographers they have their own brands, they have their own uh, equipment that they want to play with, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. You know, what really makes it more uh, interesting in my part is that I look at different photographers. Mm -hmm. And that's how I learn. I learn from them. You learn they from them. They inspire me. Yeah, I look at their work, mm -hmm. what kind of photography they do. Okay. And then it, it kind of like, oh, I want to do this. I wanna... Who are your Who are your influence? Your influences? Like, let's say three. Would you like to three or five photographers that you um, like? Whoa, they, these are the photographers not, that I always look at. There's their not really one, but uh -huh. I have to shout out to my uh, friend. He's based in San Francisco. Okay. So he's very famous, uh, Vincent Gotti. So he's Vincent my friend. Mm -hmm. So he's my teacher, my mentor, and he teach me. What is about him that you uh, learn from? Like, really, what what are the three things that he always tells you, or you always kind of observe from his craft that you wanted to like kind of imbibe, or you kind of kind of embrace that? Okay, this is what what teaches you the most. Well, it's just his presence and how he directs the model and how mm -hmm. he directs things and the light and you know because I started 
just kind of like an assistant with him. Oh, okay. You know, I was the, he always does. <laughs> I, do, I do behind the scene mm -hmm. photos with him. So I kind of like learned some tricks and he also teach me how to, you know, use the camera and the mm -hmm. functions. And Are you the type of photographer that you'd rather be in the studio or you want to be outside the studio and have some, some sceneries or like a mix? It, it's, it's a mix, you know, it depends mm -hmm. on what type of uh, shoot that we're going to do. But I can do location, but most of my favorite thing is location. Like location. in a big house, in a big mansion. In a, that's, that's what you like, know, a big yeah. mansion and so on. That you, way, yeah, because you, you, you kind of like, you know, you have so many options. What is your favorite mansion or house by far here in Vegas? Like uh, something well known? Um, the Heartland Mansion. Awesome. I, yeah. I was about to like, he's going to say Heartland Mansion. Gary, thank you. Gary Heartland, thank you. He's a good friend of ours. Yes. He's really very... Um, very very supportive for every order. I was so fortunate to to be able to shoot at his mansion, and uh, we had a great time there. Yeah, yeah. It is, so. it is. And Gary, um, we we give our um, applaud to you because you really uh, support the artists, you support the community. You're very diverse in terms of friendship, in terms of associations and networking. Okay, I want to ask. This is kind of intriguing because I would say, how do I pass to be your model? I mean, how can I become a Durant's model? It's, I mean, like, if, for example, me, I'm, like, so rich and whatever, I can afford. And I say, of course, you, uh, Durant, and, of course, I have also the looks. Um, do you usually say yes to all your clients or you're very no, selective? No, I'll ask the client what, what type of photography do you want to do. Okay. want to shoot. Like, all right. It could be, well, I'm going to wear my gown, so uh -huh. I want to naked i want sexy bikini so you're open-minded so for anything oh, oh yeah so oh yeah just because, name the prize just kidding yeah, because they 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 the ones who want but to if you were to choose if you were to choose let's say you're very you're very well known yeah like so so well known like already you are well known now but like you know like oh like like world class and of course some of them would say okay i will only do this and that like just for example if you have the chance to just be selective what are the qualities of a model that you would love to have like in a way, pro promise you won't be discriminated in my show. I just want to like, as an artist, this is what you define beauty, or this is like your perfect shoot, your perfect shoot. Well, I don't be selective or anything. The most important thing is they know how to pose. Okay, strike the pose. Okay. Yes, because <laughs> that's gonna be hard for me because I have to teach them or mm -hmm. you know teach them how to do it. Because especially if it's their first time, mm -hmm. you know. So it's a it's a lot of work. Jerron, who's your who's your dream um, like model? Like like three of them. They say like like three. This is uh, they, I wanted uh, if you had a chance to like photograph to this, photograph a any person? famous artist. Yep, three top three. Hmm. An actress. Anybody. You a can Miss say Universe. The name. You can say the name. Yeah. Whatever. Miss Universe. Whoever is Miss Universe. Yeah. So you talking who's about the famous, actress? right? Yeah. Who's the actress? Like in, in like it could be, it, well, I don't know. Yeah, you, this is like be. you can t say it. You can you can like choose anybody. Like who's your f artist? Like the artist that you really want to take a photograph of. Like after you take this photograph, you will say to yourself, probably Angelina yes. Jolie. Oh, is it about the symmetry? No, it's about <laughs> the form. Her as the uh, as an individual, as an as an artist, as an icon. Yeah. yeah. And how, yeah. how would that shoot be like in a describe that shoot with Angelina Jolie? Oh my, I don't know. It will be probably. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it will be. It will be the best thing. And then there's one more. You have one more uh, model that you want to shoot. Who's this? Like a like maybe a political figure or what? No, uh, it has to be like a Miss Universe. Uh -huh. Whoever is this Miss Universe? Whoever is that? Miss Universe. Would you, um, well, I have a question too. I wanted you to, um, to see how you would be as an artist in like five to ten years. How do you see yourself? How are you going to be recognized as an artist? And what are the things that you still want to do as an artist? We'll get back in our third segment with My Beloved to Life with my good friend, Jerron Huntilia. Be right back.